With Seattle setting an example for the nation, how are other cities in our watershed making progress toward this ultimate goal? In our survey, we found that nine cities have already taken the first step by calculating current greenhouse gas emissions, at least for their own city operations. In 2010, eight of these cities took the second step, establishing a climate action plan to actually begin working on reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Seattle has an aggressive target of being carbon neutral by the year 2030. Here is the range of targets that some of our other watershed cities are using. Edmonds is aligning its goals with the Washington state mandate that expects reductions to be at the 1990 level of greenhouse gas emissions by 2020, 25% 20 below 1990 levels by 2035, and 50% below by 2050. Linwood is using 2005 as the benchmark year, challenging itself to achieve a 5% reduction below 2005 levels by 2012, 60% by 2050. Kirkland is also using 2005 as a benchmark year, but wants to reduce greenhouse gas emissions 10% below the 2005 levels by 2012, and 80% by 2050. Both Issaquah and Mercer Island have adopted the King County target of 80% reduction by 2050 based on the benchmark year of 2007. Bellevue has adopted the National Mayor's Climate Protection Agreement target, which set 1990 as the benchmark year. As of 2010, 1,053 mayors from all 50 states, representing a total population of over 88 million Americans, had taken the same pledge. That's about one-third of the total population of the United States. Bellevue plans to be 7% below the 1990 level by 2012. Just so you know, 1990 as a benchmark year is a much more challenging target than 2005 or 2007, because greenhouse gas emissions were so much lower then. And remember, the city of Seattle is the lighthouse beacon for all of us, because they're not shooting for an 80% reduction by 2050. The goal in Seattle is to be completely carbon neutral by the year 2030. Net zero emissions. How's that gonna happen? It's the chicken and egg and frying pan situation. Where do we start? Feed the baby chicks? Sit on an egg to keep it warm until hatching? Think about it later once we're in the frying pan?